you're going to hear me say garbage and crap and junk multiple times in this video because what I'm going to look at right now is just that. It's a piece of junk. And I'm talking about the Denon UDM80. And when you see how this thing's built, I'm sure you'll agree. This thing is one that you don't want. You want to run. Stay away from these ones. They were junk when they were made, and they are certainly not any better now that they're, you know, 30 years old. This time I have a Denon. This is a CD receiver, a UDM30. And this one here, the complaint is distorted sound. I hear noise. We'll just tune this into my little test transmitter. What? No, it doesn't even want to throw a CD in. Play a CD. Function. CDR. Tape. CD. Well, why is it not playing? Play. I mean, the wrong function. Um. The notes say that the CD works. What do the notes say? Note say all functions work. C loads and plays normally at very low volume. At mid high volume, sound is distorted. Well, is it going to play? Like it's not even going to play. What the? F Does it not support CDR media? Maybe it doesn't support CDR. Huh. Well, let's try a different disc. Let's see if it'll support CDRW. <laughs> it probably won't support that either. Okay, Clo it closes when I push the button. And it does not play. So, this thing has a problem. It does not play discs. Uh, let's try the radio. Tuner. First thing he knows when I turn the volume down, it goes up. I don't hear any sound. We'll hook up an antenna. I guess I could hook up a line input to it. Might be easier just to plug something into the line input that I know I've got music going in. Let's see here, line in one. Hmm, doesn't let me select line input. Huh. Tape, CD, maybe it might be one of these is for tape, does it say? Just says line in one and line in two. I don't hear sound on either of them. Or from the tuner. And for that matter, the tuner is not tuning anything.
Ah, it's all distorted. Yeah, it's uh, it's sad. Okay, we'll pull the top off this one and see. This one I might not be able to do anything for because it just depends on what they're using for an amplifier. If it's an IC app, then uh, it's going to probably be the IC itself that's bad. I think most of the service people were probably pretty happy when these micro components just kind of vanished from the market because nobody really liked them. Nobody liked to work on them because they were just, everything was crammed in. Uh, because everything was crammed in, especially the higher power units, they tended to have problems with them overheating. might be labeled as Denon, Nippon, Columbia, but it's made in China, not made in Japan. As I say, they're, they're crammed in on these. It uses an STK module. right down here and chances are that's where our problem is is the STK module is this shot broadcasting in HD for the best listening experience this is CIWVFM a connection we can check for that when I smack it it comes in better so maybe the uh, Maybe the IC just needs to be reflowed. So let's just uh, pull the the heatsink out here. That should lift the IC out and a little circuit board. Maybe this is all that's wrong with this. That'd be something if it was. Uh, connections tend to go bad more often on these type of uh, components just because of the uh, heat that's generated on the IC. It tends to run down the pins and causes fractures. We'll undo this connector for the CD player and this should lift out. I may have to cut a, or unplug a connector there and cut a strap. That was another problem with these these type of units with all these plugs. Um, interconnects go bad. We'll separate this uh, second circuit board here. I just want to take a look under here, take a look at the connections. And this is one of the reasons that these were so unreliable, is all these connectors that plug the different boards in. Every time you've got one of these connectors, you're um, asking for trouble. I think this one just unplugs. This board just unplugs from this one, I think. Yeah, just like that, you see. So anytime you have these connectors, you have the run the risk that uh, you're going to get a, a broken connection. STK405-050 is the entire amplifier on a chip, basically. Good old Sanyo's invention. Did they make life's good things better? Not in the case of these, they certainly didn't. How are we looking for connections on here? If I flex these, do they move? See, it could be inside the IC as well. But we got to look at these connections. Maybe I'll just reflow them anyway. Is my camera going to go out of focus if I go in closer? Of course it is. I'm going to reflow these ones and these edge connectors on both the boards. Both that one end and on this other board over here as well. The 
because it's a it's a point of failure and quite a common point of failure whenever you get these big ICs oops it's a speaker wire that's melted on my uh, my iron Should we leave it like that? I guess it wouldn't hurt because they're the same. This <laughs> is the same trace, but. What do you bet there's not much of any heat sink compound on here? I'm not going to pull it to find out. We'll do the regulator and the edge connectors on this board. Throw this back together. And we'll give it a try. See, there's other connections down here that also could be could also be suspect. Just the way that these things are built, I just don't like them. Nothing really holds that together, right? There's nothing to hold these two boards together. They just kind of press fit. Very, very, very cheaply made. This one plugs into this board, and then this other board plugs in as well to here. So you got a you got a connection here, you got a connection here, you got another connection there. I mean, it's just I can unplug that board just like that and pull this little pull this little interconnect board out. And it's just they're just just junk, absolute junk. And yet people pay big bucks for this stuff because they see the name. You think, you know, Denon is a quality name. Well, maybe they were at one point, but when you've got all these connectors, all these little circuit boards here with these press-on connectors, it's just a, it's just a, a, a point of failure, a big-time point of failure. Right, that just plugs on like that, and then this one plugs down onto here. And then this other board, it sits in here like this. And then it plugs into this other board. Gotta line up the pins, but once you get the connector lined up, it'll just plug right in. That one plug back in, and, and then plug the one in on the bottom as well. It's just like that. Now these boards are all plugged in. Put the screws in the bottom here to hold this board in place. Maybe they're just so poorly built. I mean, that's what's holding this together is a couple of screws to stop this from moving forward but it doesn't do a thing to stop the other ones from moving up one thing is for sure anybody that worked on this stuff like any any service techs that worked on this equipment they didn't own it it's like like dying an awful you know anybody that worked on this stuff didn't own it it's just because it's just it's just junk more headaches. Plug 
peek at it in there again, make sure my speakers are still plugged in. And we'll see if this thing gives me any more volume than it did before. It could very well be that IC is cooked. I think I got that problem fixed. But the volume control is kind of screwed because it, it goes up when you turn it down. And I'm turning it down and it goes up. So the volume control encoder needs to also be cleaned. So I fixed one problem. <laughs> That's all their connections. Duh! Piece of shit. Okay, let me just pull this front, front face off. Uh, I gotta clean that encoder switch easily or whether it will give me a fight. I gotta get to the encoder switch and get it cleaner and I may have to even remove it so that I can get into it. I can undo that. Oh, wonderful. It's got a ribbon cable on it. Of course it has a ribbon cable on it. Piece of junk. Can I get into this? some cleaner into the switch now. Try it while it's apart. See whether it will adjust. Ah, it's better. Yeah. Isaac and Wicked Game on Wave 98.3. Here's Chris Buddy. Okay, now I can put it back together. All that work just to clean that control. Fortunately, putting it back together might be a little easier than taking it apart. Should be. Just throw the screws back in. Here's the kicker, this has got to go back a long ways, even though it'll be double boxed and packed back like it was when it was shipped to me. If the post office throws it around like they throw a lot of things around, maybe one of those connectors will get popped apart again. Hey, it could happen. Alright, see if it still works after putting it back together. That part works. We'll put this uh, piece back on and we're going to try the uh, CD player. I don't know which one's which. Oops. That's not quite snapped down. doesn't read the disc. Ah, so it's got a CD problem as well. What else is new? I wonder if it's dirtier. Maybe it just doesn't read 
CBRs. Those screws are loose. I think those screws are loose. Someone's been in this. Hmm. That's weird. Yeah, maybe something on the CV board is no has got a problem. But it's like I think the lasers pick the plugs in here. No, it doesn't. It plugs into the board under the player. It's weird when you just touch the board to get it. Definitely. Something on this board here. I checked the, uh, I cleaned the top of the laser, but I say these screws were really loose, like somebody has been onto this board. Like these were not tight, they were loose. So someone's been into here. We'll, we'll get a close-up look at this IC and so forth. See if I can see any connections that look to be on the, on the edge here and so forth. See if I can spot any connections that look to be weird, that look to be uh, broken. Oh, this thing's full of connections. Look at this. So this one came in and it says that all functions were normal, just the volume was very low and distorted. But the CD is definitely not working and it's, it doesn't appear to be anything that's loose. It doesn't even attempt to spin. I see the laser lift, but it doesn't attempt to spin the disc up. So whether something got damaged in transit, this board was loose, was not in any way connected. And making a cracking sound when I push down on it at least I resoldered these connections along here and it's not making that noise now this is all working now see these connectors come loose really easy but everything's 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 on there tight now um, I mean I guess maybe it got damaged in transport I don't know don't know what happened to it, but uh, it's probably not worth fixing. If it's a pickup on here, I'd never be able to get one. Look at this, just moving it. Oh, look at how bad this is. I mean, this is just a piece of crap. That's those connectors. I think I'll advise the fellow on this one that this one's not worth putting a whole bunch of money into just because it's a piece of junk. Do my auxiliary inputs work on it now, I wonder? Back on. Well, they work now. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. How do you guarantee anything like this when you work on something like this? How do you guarantee it? You know, shipping it back, something's going to come loose. It's just a piece of crap. I'll reflow these pins on this board here.
That yeah. was bad. I mean, my advice will be on this one is just to walk away from this thing. It's not worth it. And I get nervous anytime I see any of these devices like this that have these interconnects that just fall apart. There's nothing holding them together. There's no clips on them or anything to hold them together. They're just held in place by the cabinet. Right When the top cover's on it, it will hold them, supposedly hold them back together. But... Um, They were junk when they were made. I'm not helping matters with them bridging solder here, am I? I have to get in here with the solder sucker and fix what I've mess I've made. That's a little better. Nope, it's not. Ah, for Christ's sake. Ah, CD is still. The CD is still a bar. It doesn't try to spin. Oh well, I think I'm going to uh, condemn this one. It's just got too many things that are that are quirky on it. I you know, I couldn't guarantee it. Even if I got it to work. I can't guarantee that the trip back, this thing's not going to get banged around and messed up because amplifier works now, but right, radio works and the auxiliary input works, but I mean, it's just, I know when the cabinet's on, it's going to squeeze this together, right, but because it clips in the front here, and when you pull it together, it kind of squeezes everything together, but still. It's just such a shitty design. Let's look at the laser. So we should see this laser light up bright. There's no light. We'd see it on the lens. The laser is not lighting. And that's why it's not attempting to spin. Because the laser itself is probably FUBAR. It may have got damaged in transit or maybe it never actually worked. The only thing I can say with absolute certainty is that that laser did not work when it arrived because I tried it before I even opened the unit up and it wouldn't read the CD. And um, the screws were loose on here which tells me that somebody else has been into here working on it because normally these screws would be at least snug they may not be super tight but they're going to be snug so that they're not literally falling out this connector was bent I straightened it but it was bent down
and that would be the phone. Nobody wants to answer it. No. Okay, I want to make sure that this thing works at least as well as it did when I fixed the connection problem. But the tuner's going to work, and the input's going to work. And that's about as good as I can make this one work. And I'll have to tell him, oh, I'll probably have already seen the video by the time I talk to him or email him, but because uh, uh, he watches the channel. But uh, this one here, I don't think is worth fixing. It's as good as it's going to get. And even at that, I would question how how well it'll handle the trip back. You saw how fragile these boards are in the connection. But there was connections bad on here, connections on here, connections on the main board itself. These things were just a piece of crap when they left the factory. Anyway, thanks for watching.